Hello and welcome to this latest video in this series for Microsoft Excel users. In this tutorial we're going to start looking at calculating with dates and the first thing I want to show you really is how Excel handles dates in terms of calculations and I'm going to do that by creating a new spreadsheet. I'll click on the new button there and I'm just going to first of all type in the number one in A1 type in number 100 in A2, type in 5000 in A3, and I'll type in 45,000 in A4. Now the key really to understanding Excel and dates is just to know that every number has a date connected with it and every date has a number connected with it. That is every day after the 1st of January 1900. So what I'm going to do here is simply select the number 1 there go to the format menu, choose cells and I'm just going to click on date and accept the default or the very first option they have there which is 01-01-1900 as you see click OK. So that comes out as the 1st of January 1900 because the number 1 is associated with that date as far as Excel is concerned it always has been from the very early days of Excel the reason for that is if every date has a number connected with it we can calculate with dates so hopefully that that makes sense. So what I'm going to do is just select these other three values and you will see what dates they have associated with them. So go back to format menu, choose cells, date again, click OK and you'll see what values or what dates these other numbers have associated with them. So you can see now 9th of April 1900 8th of September 1913 and 15th of March 2023 so that last one's in the future 45,000 now what I'm going to do is just copy that block of cells and I can do that fairly simply select those cells put the mouse point at the bottom right and then drag across just uh, well, oh, by the way if you ever see these hash marks it simply means that the cell isn't wide enough for the content so you can just extend the column width and the uh, contents will appear. Now I'm going to convert these dates now back into their numbers just to prove that it works. So I'm going to select those cells, go back to format, choose cells, go to the general option which is a basic number format and okay there we go so now they're back in their original number format. Fundamentally that's all you need to know really about dates is that they all have a number associated with them and by d having that we can then do some calculation. So we will go back to our earlier spreadsheet. Fred's running his little cinema business and um, you saw in the previous video I uh, formatted the dates down here so I've already got some dates on. Now I'm just going to modify this first date here so it's uh, actually today's date. So I'm going to simply do control and semicolon, press enter. So that's got today's date and I'm going to come across to H6 and add a new label in and the label will say days to go. All right and I'm going to just do a bit of uh, formatting here. I'm going to first of all just select the all those cells in that G or G6 down to G11. Click on my format painter and then click on H6 and that will apply the colour and the, the grid formatting. I'm then going to select cells H7 down to H11, go to format, choose cells and then simply apply the general or the number format to that with zero decimal places on it. There we go, click OK. And that's because the result that I want to have appear in these cells will be a number rather than a date or a piece of text. OK, so we're going to create the formula now. So. All I need to know are two things, what today is and what the movie date is. In other words, this date here, which is today, and this date here, which is the screening date. When we're working out the difference between dates, it's important to deduct the lower number from the higher number so we don't end up with a negative value. Okay, so let's create the function that will reveal how many days there are to go to each of these uh, screenings. So I press equals in H7, start the formula. Click on the screening date first of all, in this case Wednesday, 11th of May, today. 
press the minus key because we're deducting one day off the other and then click on the today value in E3 in my case and then I'm going to click on the little tick up there and that'll enter zero so there's zero days to go okay just do one more so click in cell H8 press equals click on the uh, the date of the screening press minus and click on today's date which is the lower value click on the little tick again and we get four this time okay so four days to go to the next screening and this time right before I do this next thing there's one thing you need to correct in this formula you'll notice that obviously I've got the today's date fixed in one cell there so what I'll do actually is I'll delete my calculation in H7 sorry H8 go back to H7 click on the formula and I want to convert that E3 value to an absolute reference so just all I do is make sure the cursor is flashing at the end of that cell reference press F4 that'll set that as an absolute reference accept that by click the tick and then I can just simply drag that formula down the remaining cells there release the mouse button and there we are let's click away so you can now see how many days there are to go before each of the screenings which might be useful it might not be useful so if you're planning an event it's just a handy little reminder of how long you have to go before the event that's just a quick introduction to date calculations in the next video we'll look at it in a little more detail and look at some other functions you can use for calculating dates and also apply a bit of formatting to make uh, some of these calculations a bit more useful as well so thanks for watching this one and i'll see you next time